All right, Jocelyn, thank you. It is time now for the morning mix, and we have a special guest joining us this morning. Hopefully, you were with us in the 7 o'clock hour because Adam hopefully. Ray, hopefully, yeah, hopefully. Adam Ray was hanging out. We chatted a little bit there, and um, you were back for the morning mix. First off, we should let everyone know you were at the punchline this weekend. That's right. Doing Tonight, thing. thank you, John. Tonight, um, tomorrow, and <clears throat> Excuse me. And Saturday. Uh, stayed up a little late last night. Okay. Oh, you'll Wednesday. be up late tonight, <clears throat> too. I think so. When there's one show, I usually, um, <clears throat> if I just started <laughs> you crying. You got this. I, uh, <clears throat> Do you need I, uh, your drink? You can yeah, go I'm going to have my coffee. Rock. I uh, We went out a little hard last night. Paco was there. Paco <laughs> was serving me tequila shots, and he kept asking me to hit something. He was like, trust me, it's legal. And I was like, all right. And um, anyway, Paco and I matched on Tinder like an hour after that. So <laughs> wow. So uh, Paco, I don't know. It's Paco good to be here. Um, you didn't tell us this story. Yeah, this is that our guy keeps answer, everything close the to the vest. By the way, I love Paco is the man because like you guys will start a segment and like 10 seconds in, he's like, wrap it up. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, it just started. Um, but no. I think he's uh, telling you to wrap he's right gonna now. He's going to tell you that. Is he telling me to wrap right now? Yeah, he's smiling. I saw him smile. <laughs> he he didn't smile since I got here. So that was the no first one. No wonder he's tired, though. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, pumped to hear what we uh, got to talk about. Maybe I could use some uh, some of these bits for the stage. Oh, please do. Okay, Punchline well, this weekend. Come out. Yes. All right. Well, let's start off with this first story. There is an online debate that's heating up over the president of the United States and pasta. I'm not joking. I'm here for this. Yes, you are, Amanda. You love pasta, and she cooks it very well, by the way. The first couple was seen leaving Bloomingdale's Red Hen. You see them there, right there, and naturally, people were wondering what they had for dinner. Uh, it was rigatoni, a very popular pasta dish, but what social media commentators were really having an issue with is that both Jill and Joe ordered the exact same entree. What? I know. That's what I thought, too. So <laughs> Get out of here. Online brought up a point that couples' openness to share the same dishes falls on the spectrum of <laughs> Okay. Sure. Opponents spectrum? say it's almost an unspoken rule that you shouldn't order the same thing. Well, you just got married, yeah. Adam. So really, when you sit down to dinner with your significant other, you always share, right? Never order the same dish. That's the whole point of eating out. Totally, yeah. She'll she'll be like, you know, you, you know, pick a number between one and two, and then I'll pick a number, and then she'll get what she wants, and then she never enjoys it, so then she eats off of my plate. Um, and <laughs> that's then, how uh, it's supposed to work. That's how it's supposed to work. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. No, all the marriage advice I've gotten has been pretty spot on. My stepdad was like, you know, I got two words for you. He's 79, West Point grad, paper route since he was five. He's like, two words for you. Yes, dear. <laughs> And then my real dad told me, try on the shoe. If the shoe doesn't fit, grab another shoe. And I was like, well, you did leave mom and start a new family when I was nine, so that also checks out. <laughs> and then my step-uncle hit me up, who I haven't talked to in forever. And you get people that come out of the woodworks. And as soon as I got married, he hit me up on Facebook, of all places. And he goes, I heard you just got married. Congrats. If you're ever bored and find yourself in Phoenix, I know a massage parlor that takes Bitcoin. And I was like, well, this is why we don't talk a lot, Uncle Rod. And shout out to Uncle Rod if he's watching, by the way. He lives in Scottsdale. Um, but, uh, yeah, we usually share, I guess, was what I was getting at. And um, I, we love uh, Italian food. That's um, the fact. You said you make pasta? I make pasta, but... No, you order two. You do you different order two. dishes, right? You always Especially want to in the pasta game. You got to yes. mix it up. That's, yeah. you know, kind of enjoy all the different things. Yeah, no, so hopefully, I'm glad to hear that you and your wife are on board with that. Yes, and I mean, it's also, like, you got to, uh, I can't cook. I don't know if you, you said, like, you can, I, I, I watched Chop like Jr., and I'm like, these Chop kids are, like, Jr. rubbing it in. <laughs> They're like, you know, I, I'm, my name's Owen Owenson, and I made uh, lemon bolognese. And I'm like, cool, <laughs> like, you're seven? Like, I used to make my sister smoke my farts I trapped in a cup. Like, you're killing the game. Like, I, I did not achieve as much as you have, Owen, at your age, you know? No, nor would I had a knife to my nine-year-old. I always think that's kind of interesting, too, on those shows right? oh yeah you're giving knives to small children okay also the judges are so like they have no problem critiquing the culinary skills of children like half of them don't even know cursive or the multiplication tables and they're like you know the um your tuna tartare kimberly was weak like your kickball <laughs> skills and she's like all right i'm nine jesus you know um, but they can handle but it. They can handle they it. Can They're handle strong it. kids. It's the future is bright. It is. All right. I want to talk about this next story because I think you can relate to this, Adam. Comedian okay. Jay Leno's career spans decades, and he jokes a lot. He was already the new face of comedy in the 80s, and now he literally has a brand new face. Wow. Leno appeared on the Kelly Clarkson show and showed off his what he calls brand new face. The comedian explained that in November of last year, he recently had a serious third degree burn after gasoline fell on his face and it caught on fire. Very scary situation. It was very for scary. Leno. Yeah, yeah, but blow up he all He underwent favorite. reconstructive cosmetic surgery, but as comedians do, he laughs some of, of it off now, and he adds that the gas caught on fire because he had eaten a flaming hot Dorito. Those are Jay's <laughs> words, not mine. That's what he said. But Hilarious. I mean, just to look at him come back like that, oh, yeah. you do have to have a little levity in those type of situations, right? I mean, oh yeah. So I, um, you know, he uh, graciously took my folks uh, when they came out to visit LA a few weeks ago. Uh, got a tour of his garage. And he pulled up, uh, it was so sweet because, you know, 
I met him a few months prior. I played him on the Pam and Tommy Hulu show, and my mom was like, you got to go tell him that you played him. I was like, he doesn't care, Mom. And she was like, well, not with that attitude. You know, and then and so I, I, I walked down the hallway to the green room, and he looks at me, and he goes, oh, it's the guy who played me on TV. And I was like, oh, how was it? Was it bad? If it was, I'll quit the business and move back to Seattle. And he's like, no, no, I heard it was good. I didn't watch it myself, but I heard it was good. It was good. I, I, you know, I heard it was ground. I heard it was in Big and Cartoony. And so he gave us a tour of his old garage. And my stepdad loves cars, and he's just nerding out. And uh, Jay showed us pictures of his face. I mean, it was like, it did not look, um, mm-hmm. it was, it, it looked like, you know, when, you know, like if you go on a bender with Paco and like, you know, <laughs> you, you, you cook up some beef roni, Chef Ooh, Boyardee, okay. and that spills like, and, you know, and you wake up and Paco's got all over his face because he like, you know, slept on the floor again. Like it's, it looked like that. It was just like a mess. And he shows oh. the picture. He's like, oh, they had to take, you know, skin from my, you know, from my, uh, you know, from my, you know, my, my togeth and they, from my knees. And they put wow. grafted onto my face. And so it really was like miraculous that he even, mm-hmm. A, is alive. He, he, he dodged a bullet. Yeah. Um, but here's a look outside now. Um, <laughs> Are you going to read the prompter? Yeah. yeah. Why don't you go ahead and wrap us up here? Thank so, you for hanging out, by you, the way. Guys. Uh, Actually, we're not wrapping no. up yet. I do want to ask one you one segment. more thing. Okay, yes, good. one more yeah. thing. Before we get to Sorry, break I here. Sorry, I panicked. I got uh, nervous. <laughs> when I panic, I'm nervous. I was about to do this. It's usually how I sign off if I'm really nervous. I'm like, all right, and come see me this weekend. I've never done that before. Well, we do have one minute before we head to break, which you will send us to in a second. Okay. So you have a podcast, which yes. I didn't know about until I saw all these fun shirts yeah. on your website. So about last night. First, does your mom ever make an appearance on your podcast? I kind of want to meet your mother. My mom's name is Puddin. She's a little spunky Jew from Oklahoma, um, and her name's, yeah, Puddin. I mean, it's Carolyn, but my grandpa gave her the nickname Puddin. If you meet her, you're like, she's definitely a Puddin. Uh, she's a sweetheart, and um, yeah, she's been up four times. Sandra Bullock's uh, a dear homie. She's been on a bunch. Wow. Melissa McCarthy, Jason Drulo, uh, Bill Burr, um, everybody. And uh, Paco, I'd love to have you on. I don't know what that motion is, Paco, but I don't think you can do that in daytime morning seconds. TV. Yeah, that's oh, that's thirty seconds. Like, Paco was just doing this, and I was like, hey, man, you got to mix up your gestures. So, um, <laughs> okay. yeah, <laughs> okay. Now you're, you're not making it better, dude. I don't know what you're doing over there. Yeah. <laughs> Open up your palm. All right, and take so, us a live look outside. All right, guys, outside. we're coming. Hey, and here's a look outside. We're going to be right back. We're going to go outside and take a look. And look at that skyline. Look at that giant phallic building. I don't know what that is, but it's <laughs> probably the famous. There's a bank in there or a Jamba Juice headquarters. Either way, the Bay Area CBS News is coming right back. Don't go anywhere.